Here are seven pieces of advice on how to remove effects in Final Cut Pro I'd give my former beginner editor self. So you applied an effect to the wrong clip. Don't worry, I've done the same thing. I'll show you how to quickly and easily remove it in seven different scenarios, including how to remove effects from a bunch of clips at once. And at the end, I'll show you how you can get some Final Cut Pro effects that are worth $138 for free. But first, let's remove some effects. Okay, here's your first piece of Final Cut life advice. In Final Cut Pro, I have this clip with some effects on it, but I don't like one of them and I want to remove it. First, select the clip, put the playhead over the clip, and then open the video inspector. If the inspector isn't open, click this button to open it or press Command 4. Then click on the video inspector icon. You'll see all the clip's effects listed under the effects section. You can deactivate or turn off any effect without deleting it by unchecking this box. If you want it back on, just check the box next to the effect name and all the changes you made to the effect will still be there. Next up is the second piece of advice. To delete or remove the effect, select the effect by clicking anywhere on the text or on the effect title so that you get this yellow selection box and then press delete. Poof, it's gone. That's good for one effect at a time, but how can I remove a bunch of effects at once? The third piece of advice will show you how. Select one or more clips, choose Edit, Remove Attributes, or press Shift-Command-X. The Remove Attributes window opens up, and at first, all effects and changed video properties are selected to be removed. Deselect any effects or changes you want to keep, and then press Remove. Those effects and attribute changes are removed from all the selected clips. Advice number four will quickly remove all effects and video property changes immediately. Select one or more clips, choose Edit, Remove Effects, or press Option Command X. All effects and any changes to transform, crop, or distort will be removed. It will reset spatial conform, but it will not reset stabilization or rolling shutter. Are you ready to delete effects like a ninja? Has this video been helpful? If so, hit that like button so others can see this video, and in a moment, I'll show you how to remove titles and transitions. Moving on to the fifth piece of advice I'd give myself. In Final Cut, you can make changes to effects and video attributes, and then save that as an effect preset to use on other clips. Once you've made a preset, it'll show up in your effects browser. To delete the effect preset, right click on it and select reveal in finder. The effects presets folder window will open, select the effect preset you want to delete, right click on it and select move to trash or just press command delete. Next up is advice number six. Now that you know how to remove effects, what about titles and transitions? Piece of cake! First, select the transitions you want to remove and then press delete. To remove titles, do the same thing. Select one or more titles, and then press delete. My final piece of advice shows how to remove titles, effects, or transitions made in motion and published to Final Cut Pro. Find the template or templates you want to remove, right click on one, and select Reveal in Finder. Switch the Finder view to Columns. To delete some of the templates, select the folders and press Command Delete, and restart Final Cut Pro. Now those effects are gone. To delete the entire plugin, go back to Finder, select the plugin folder, press Command Delete, and restart Final Cut. Now the entire effect is gone. This works well for any homemade templates, but be careful because you might mess up third-party plugins you bought and installed. Check their uninstall directions before you start deleting from Finder. Well, there you go. Now you know how to remove effects in Final Cut Pro plus a couple extra handy tricks. I put together a free gift for you. It's a pack of titles and transitions for Final Cut Pro. You can make lower thirds, callouts, transitions. It's worth $138, but I want to give it to you for free. Just click the link in the description for your free effects and plugins. Happy editing.